hello welcome back to my channel my name is Catherine if you didn't already know um as you'll see by the title today i'm going to be reviewing another product from hmv cosmetics which i'm so excited about so basically if you don't really know if you've been living under a rock hmv cosmetics is holly boone's makeup brand and she has launched so many amazing products over the years i literally love the products they're so high quality but they're so affordable which is just like music to my ears so when i heard she was coming out with testing powders i was like oh my god i want to try these so they launched literally last week and i picked up three of the different shades basically they come in these like nudie packaging box and these are what they look like so i'm going to be testing these out today showing you how i got this look telling you what i think about the powders um and basically yeah just showing you how i use them how the colors come out what the pale fears but yeah these are definitely a must have i'm just gonna throw that out there now these are like a holy grail product i can tell you that like insane but anyway i'm gonna talk for it in detail tell you my thoughts on it um so yeah that's the video for today i hope you enjoy it if you do give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe down below and other than that let's get into it okay so i've already done my base kind of makeup and now i'm at the step where i would typically bake um i normally only ever use like one baking powder but i actually picked up three different shades so i'm gonna test them all out today kind of mix them up put different ones in different places so this is what it looks like the beautiful kind of nude packaging and then it's got like what shade it is on the bottom so i'm gonna take first of all this is the darkest shade i got which is the shade banana um i do actually use a banana shade normally so i'm gonna pop this one under my cheekbones um because i feel like that's probably the one where you want it to be most subtle like you don't want a harsh light white line underneath so i always take a separate beauty blender for my powder so that's what i'm gonna do so i'm taking the shade banana um this is what it looks like um and i'm just gonna start to work this along my cheek and kind of just pack it i do like to take quite a thick layer because i do really like to bake i think it's such an important step the powder is actually really nice um consistency like it's not too thin but it's not massively thick either see it applies really easily i'm gonna put a tiny bit on my chin and on my t-zone but i want to mix them um to just see kind of how it pays off so i'm just gonna start with that i'm gonna take the shade translucent because that's actually shade number two and the shade fair is um shade one so i'm gonna build up the shade translucent again it's exactly the same um packaging obviously this one is shade two so it'll be slightly um lighter i'll just shake a bit as well so that it comes out um okay no i need to do that again <laughs> And they all had like um, a seal over them. So I took the seal off and just shake it so that some comes out. Okay, so again, I'm going to take the same beauty blender. Um, and I'm just going to start to build this along here. Yes, yeah, so this is definitely lighter in the shade banana. So this is kind of just what I'd usually do in my normal makeup routine. But obviously I'm mixing and matching the powders because... That's what I saw Holly do on her tutorial. So I kind of wanted to recreate that for myself to see what it was like and if the powders were as good and if it turned out, if it turns out as well as hers did. Because her makeup just always looks like literally like face tune in real life is what she says and literally it actually does. Um, so I'm just packing this. It does feel a really nice like texture. Like it's, I don't know it's not like soup one of those super like lightweight powders where you can hardly kind of build it up but it's not like really cakey right it almost feels like it's not like a bit creamy but obviously it's a powder it's really nice um on the skin I feel like it's definitely buildable like it you can build up the layers um but quite quickly as you've seen so you can see this is definitely lighter than the shade banana so this is the shade translucent um i like to have a brighter under eye and i'm gonna make it even brighter by taking the shade fair neck might put a tiny bit of this on my forehead as well 
I just think like I love using translucent powders I think that's what makes your makeup even more like flawless and just kind of like sets everything into place like it's so important to set your makeup with a powder like I literally it's one of the key steps because you don't want your makeup like sliding over your face so it's really good to invest in like a really good powder and these are actually so affordable like the price point is amazing there £13.50 which for a powder is so affordable I don't think you get as much as you would with say the Huda Beauty one so you obviously don't get as much but it's nowhere near as expensive um so I'm gonna let that set and I'm actually gonna put a tiny bit of fair on my right under my in um right under my eyes just to make it that extra bit brighter exactly the same packaging and i just love the nude pink packaging like it's such a vibe um okay so this is the shade fair see it's slightly again it's lighter than translucent but it's more like rather than it being white it's like closer to skin tone i think so okay yeah look look how much brighter that is so this is just gonna brighten up under my eyes okay wow i'm so ready for this okay that is so bright i've never used a powder this bright i'm ready <laughs> i'm so ready I'm put a tiny bit here as well um and maybe a tiny bit on my chin okay wow so as you can see i've mixed all the different shades um and i'm gonna let this bake for a good like 10 15 minutes because that's typically what i do and i just find that works well and then i'll start to blend it into the skin and dust it off but i really like the feel of them i can't describe it like it's not it's not a super thin powder but it's also not like thick and cakey it almost feels like really light on the skin but you can build it up and obviously you can see it's got really good payoff so I'm really impressed actually and for the price point I just think it's so affordable like her products are always so affordable but this is really affordable if it like I'm I'm confident that it's gonna like dust off really nicely but I'm just gonna yeah as I say let this bake and then I'll come back and dust it off and see kind of what the results are right so it's been baking for about 10 minutes um and now I'm going to dust it off while that was baking, I actually started to begin to bronze up my face um I'll link below my like full makeup routine if that's something you're interested in but I'm not gonna go through that today um I'm now just gonna start to kind of I kind of like pack my powder into my skin and kind of like lightly brush it off at the same time but I don't just want to brush it off because then there's literally no point in baking um I'm just gonna like additionally buff it in using my damp beauty blender I just find this really helps kind of get that flawless kind of finish you want it to kind of have a difference so you create that contour but you don't want it to be too much of a harsh line so that's why i use the kind of beauty blender to just blend it in and make it a bit more seamless but yeah it just creates that kind of like contoured snatched look which is what we love the payoff is actually so nice like my skin literally looks airbrushed wow and you see that and it's brightened it so much it's so bright okay look how airbrushed that looks the coverage okay okay the payoff is insane my skin literally looks like I've got a filter on but I haven't <laughs> I feel like my skin just looks flawless what the hell it's blended in so nicely into my skin like it almost looks like I haven't got powder but obviously I have but like it's just given this like flawless kind of finish it's not like heavy or like cakey like it just brushes off so lightly but and it feels like I haven't got anything on my skin. But obviously I have. And it's just given me this insane coverage. Oh wow. My powders aren't normally this good. Like I pay quite a lot of money for my 
setting powders but this is insane like my skin literally looks airbrushed you see how easily it just kind of like dusts off but blends in and creates this like insane coverage wow i'm actually so impressed it looks amazing and it's really like brightened under my eye and giving me so much coverage like you can't even like wow that is amazing okay so i have finished my makeup look now and this is how my skin is looking like i literally can't get over how like flawless everything looks and how like airbrushed it is like these powders are amazing in terms of price point i think it's so affordable like hmb cosmetics in general is so affordable and they're like 13 pounds 50 which i just think is so good like it doesn't feel like a drugstore product it's like high quality obviously the coverage is insane i like that i use the mix of colors actually uh, it had a really nice payoff um it's not too like light under my cheekbones but then it's nice and bright under my eyes and on my t-zone so yeah i'm so so pleased with this i love the packaging um and i do just generally love this brand so yeah i'm so so pleased with it um congratulations holly boone on another insane product like i expect nothing less but it is insane um i'll make sure to leave below the links if you want to check out the products and shop them um i couldn't recommend them enough so yeah i'll leave that down below um i hope you found this video useful and don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below follow me on instagram and other than that i'm sure i'll see you very soon with another video bye you